Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And a friend of, my, friend of mine sent me a two files. One of them was a Word document that I can't use. If you click on it, you see it's way out in here. It's, it, it can't be broken apart. It, it can't get, be converted. So I took his list and I saved it as a... See, this is a open font, open office... I saved it as a text document. I just picked them as in text and it worked. And I'm going to call it four and save it. And then I'm going to go into Corel and I'm going to import it. Need to go to photos where I keep it. And there it is right. Well, there's the three I saved earlier. And just hit import. Maintain font and formatting. Don't really know exactly what that means. But then you can have your list. And there's your list. Now you can go to text and convert to an artistic text. So now these are individual. Now there is some problems. Let me just get rid of these. Because when you break them apart with control K, every individual line is different. But if you select these both and make you a new, make it back to the font you like or pick a font, I'm just going to type in Arial, narrow, made it aerial narrow. Because these lines are separated, you can't center justify it, but you can select both of them and hit C on the keyboard and it will center it. Now, I would take the longest name, and this is a long way to do this, but there's really no other way when somebody gives you names in a Word document like that. And then what I would do is group well, I'm going to put them in the center, kind of. And let's say that's going to be big enough. Let's make them a little bit bigger. But you would want your biggest name. And I'm going to group this together. Control G. I'm going to put it into my plaque holder. I'm going to hold down the shift key and press E, C. And that put it in the center of your, I guess it's going to be a brass plaque. Or I don't know. But just do that again. I mean, it's it's painstakingly, but you've got to do it. And, you know, just change them all to Arial. You could probably do that all at one time. Let's just do that. Let's hit Enter. Let's see if we can't change them all to Arial. And we can. So that'll save you a few steps, but it didn't do it because it recognized that first font. Let's just change like five of them to Arial. And you can pick whatever font. There you go. It worked. So you could do the whole list like that. And then, then I would take your longest name and, and put it over there and kind of size it and you know, when you group this together, you can't really change points, but you could kind of, let's go to 15 points, and it'll go make both of them 15 points. It's going to throw it off maybe a little bit on the uh, spacing. So maybe you can do 15 points on both of them. I'm just kind of winging it here. It's still going to throw off my spacing, I think. Yep. And then let's just hit C on your keyboard and kind of center it. You might want to edge that down. You know, you can put your nudge factor on something real low and just remember to do them all two clicks. And then group them together. Control G. Now this is a little painstaking, but I don't know way, any way to do it unless they've given you a, you know, like get into an Excel file. But then just... Hold that, hold down your shift key as you check that, and then EC, and we'll put it in the center. You've got to 
do that. You cannot check that one first and then hold down shift key and hit EC because it's going to throw your box off. So make sure you have your name clicked, shift your box, and then hit EC. That, that aligns it vertically and horizontally. Anyway, I truly hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.